Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Dan here from Void City Reviews. I know you guys probably haven't seen me in a while. Well, there's some good reason for that. The move is underway. Um, well, it has begun, let's put it that way. So basically, right now, I'm in the throes of packing up pretty much everything. Well, everything that I'm not going to be throwing away and getting it ready to move to a storage unit so that then I can hopefully move it to a new place to live which I haven't quite figured out yet. So we're getting that worked out and that should be good times, I really hope, because otherwise Gizmo and I and my cats will be living in this little car and there's not a lot of room in here, so that'll be kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, so I still plan to try to do a video of our previous setup that I had down in the basement there in the background of our studio with most of my collection, although I found out there was a lot of stuff I still hadn't put on display yet. So I'll maybe throw in some pictures of some of that stuff too in the boxes. But I wanna to try to show real quick the stuff that I had down there in a separate video and get that done. Toast said he'll think about doing one as well if I do one. So we might get two collection videos in the near future. I do have some customs ready to go, but I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to film them before the move, so stay tuned for those. There are a lot of them, and there are some really cool ones I think you guys will really enjoy, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Also, I'm still out there hunting, as always. <laughs> I actually just got done with that, so let's do that really quick. Take a look at what I got. So, first one I've been waiting for for a while to kind of fill out the collection of Robins for the Batman collection. I got the Red Robin figure here. I got him right over at a GameStop store. They had him right in stock. They had three of them, so that was good. I got to grab one, which is good because uh, Toast had these guys on pre-order and Target canceled them. So that was good because pretty much the day after it was canceled, mine showed up right here. I do notice a little bit of a paint issue on his Red Robin logo on the front of his bandolier thing, but that can be fixed super easily. Otherwise, I think it looks pretty cool. The only real goofy issue I see with it so far, to be honest, is just this staff that he's got here. And it seems to have the same problem as most all of the staffs McFarlane makes, which is that they're all ridiculously thick to the point where if this were scaled correctly, we'd be looking at like a staff that's about as big around as like a poster tube and that would not work very well for what this is used for. So I'm not really sure why they're so thick all the time. I may replace that with something a bit thinner, just go buy like a tiny dowel rod at a store and cut it to size, paint it silver. There you go. The other one I grabbed was Jonathan Kent, so that's pretty cool. This is actually the second copy of this figure I've got. Um, the first one, is well the same they're both Jonathan Kent but I got two because what I'm planning to do is put a cape on this one because I think he looks better with the cape to be honest especially the version of the suit they chose to do for this figure uh, typically this suit as far as I'm aware has a lot more kind of piping and lines on it and sort of resembles the style of the new 52 suit where it looked almost like a cloth armor hybrid like alien fabric type stuff and this one is completely smooth. There are no extra lines, no extra piping. I mean, even his original Superman and his Rebirth Superman figures had added little piping and patterns on the outfit, cuffs on the sleeves. This figure is absolutely none of that. So I wanna add the cape just to kind of give a little more detail to him. And I may try to add the lines onto him too with my new etching tool that I just got to do the finishing work on my new 52 Superman. That's another video that'll be coming soon. But we shall see, because there's a lot of detail work that needs to be done on this guy. One thing I will say, just looking at how he is assembled and put together with the emblem on his chest and the piece, the red part, it actually goes up over his back. The way the piece is put on here, I would almost bet money right now, and you heard it here first, folks, that there's gonna be either a gold label or a platinum version of this figure, probably a gold label at some point where he will have the cape and maybe different eyes that aren't red with white in the middle. That's another thing I'm probably gonna repaint his eyes to have him look normal, at least on that copy of him. So there you go. That was my shopping for the day. That was a little bit of an update for you guys and yeah, other than that, keep it here. Toast is still doing his comic reviews weekly, so we'll have those two videos up every week. 
We've already got all of his Saturday videos uploaded through midway through July, and he hands me off the last week's Comics Today videos every week, so I get those posted on Mondays for Tuesday morning. So those will still be going on. Show him some love, leave some comments, read some of the awesome books. He's reading a lot of good stuff, and you guys should be too. Otherwise, I will be getting home now and going back to packing, and that's about it. So thanks for joining me for this short update today, guys. We will be getting back to our more regularly scheduled programs as soon as possible, and I will keep you guys updated on that as best as I can. It all really just depends on how quickly I can get into a new place and get everything set up and ready to go. So, yeah, that's really about it. And as we all know, I think right now it's a lot easier to sell a place than it is to find one and buy it so keep our fingers crossed that this all works out so until next time void city citizens i am dan and i will see you guys next time